Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from Selma, the raisin capital of California and the world. And as you can see, raisin harvest has begun here in mid to late August. And I'm here with Stephen Spate from the Raisin Bargaining Association to share an update on the raisin crop. We're here in Normal Atwal's field. Uh, I think you spoke with him already. He's, he's uh, optimistic about his crop this year. He, he likes the way the fruit looks. He is, has a little concerns with the fact that he's down on tray count. On his estimates so far, he thinks he's down about 19%, but hopeful that that will equate to maybe only a 15% reduction compared to last year. Uh, so on a lot of the early that we've seen so far, it's hard. Many people don't know exactly what they're down, but they know that they are down from last year and hopeful that the quality will be better and way better. Uh, this is the early portion of the season, uh, just beginning really with the picking. So I think the bigger week will be next week, starting Monday, a lot more growers starting to pick. Uh, there's now continuous tray harvest starting cane cutting. So those will be going full force here in the next two weeks. So it's, it's really on the early side right now. So we really don't know the crop size, but just from talking with people, we, we consider it to be down at least 10% and substantially it could be 15% less. Uh, there are concerns always with labor, so I think more people, uh, you see evidence that more people are starting to go continuous tray mechanized harvest. And the crew size, as an example here, is fairly large and talking with some contractors, that's what they see early is that there's plenty of labor force right now for the ones that want to pick by hand. The fact remains the cost of picking by hand is, is prohibitive for some people and that's why they're going to mechanized harvest. Uh, the efficiency and what you get laid on the tray has a big impact on your cost per acre. And as an example, if, if this ends up being 1,400 trays per acre and really it only should have been 12, uh, then it, it becomes an issue. You're paying more for the job than what you should be. So that's why some people are going to the mechanized for efficiency purposes. Thank you, Steve. Stay current with what's going on in the California raisin industry by reading American Vineyard Magazine, the industry's number one publication. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.